This past year has been a year worth not forgetting. With new experiences, relationships built, and opportunities that arose, I can't help but to have enjoyed everything that came with 2021. And the best part of this year was how I had the opportunity to share my life with you. At the beginning of the year, I had recently graduated from college and decided to spend a month out of state visiting family down south. And though I had the privilege of starting the year in a warm and sunny state, I knew it was time to return to the chilly state of Iowa, where I took on the responsibility of removing snow with the skid loader, removing giant piles of snow that were literally sitting in the middle of our driveway. On top of dealing with snow, I had the opportunity to work on my very first music video. And though it was a lot of work, it was also a lot of fun and an experience that I will forever cherish. The next couple of months, I spent decluttering, cleaning, and perfecting my oil changing skills, learning new things, and losing bets I probably shouldn't have placed. Oh, so close, you guys. Play again. Double or nothing? Double or nothing. Okay, okay. Then I decided to take on the ultimate challenge of remodeling and renovating the scary basement. It was definitely a lot of work for a five foot two inch, 101 pound girl, but I was determined to make this laundry room feel more warm and welcoming. As scary as it looked after a long series of events, I was able to make the basement look a lot more clean and decluttered. Oh, and in the process, I stepped on a rusty nail. I will no longer wear tennis shoes when working. I'm going to wear my little Ariat boots that Cole got me. A little better. Ow. Made chili on one foot, had to come face to face with my greatest fear, ah! no! spiders. Oh Learn how to use a grinder, got soaked while power washing. <laughs> Thankfully, I had a handy dandy industrial dehumidifier that worked like a charm. And of course, I rewarded myself with some baked goods. Shopping for paint materials was now on the agenda, and it was finally time to transform the basement with a little bit of paint. I must say, I had no idea what I was getting myself into because painting walls that are not smooth is a challenge. But after discovering the beautiful invention of a fluffy roller, things were much easier and painting became enjoyable once more. The whole process was so worth it, and in the end, the basement became a place I wasn't really scared to visit while doing laundry. Spring. That was just around the corner and I began planting my vegetable garden. I was determined to succeed because, well, all of our tomato plants have died. These ones are hardly hanging in there. The grass is even growing in here. When it comes to everything else, like nothing's even out of the ground. But this year I proved that things could be different. But before, I was also successful at teaching my friend how to ride a dirt bike, digging holes with a backhoe, and surviving the inevitable extraction of all four wisdom teeth. All four. Thankfully, I had a really good friend keeping me company and taking good care of me. And of course, he's the best boyfriend ever. And after getting all of that out of the way, spring cleaning became a thing and after no time it was finally time to start my veggie garden i went shopping for my plants tilled the ground weeded and cleaned up the sidewalk next to the garden continued to care for my plants until they were in the ground got the fence post together it's gonna take a little bit of time to get that ringing out of my ear and put up the fence with coal that is after we got a little bit of soccer out of the way and after all that prepping and waiting i was able to get my plants in the ground being face to face with dirt sunsets and even a group of deer was such a beautiful experience and made me feel very appreciative of the process that is growing your own food because this year i wanted the garden to be a success i decided to experiment with goat manure spreading it everywhere to fertilize my plants i also took the time to lay out newspaper and straw to hopefully keep the weeds to a minimum but the work was not done yet as i had to spend the next several weeks tending to my plants watering weeding and assessing their growth cole and i also had the opportunity to dog sit my brother's dog for two weeks and we were so glad we were able to help especially because we ended up falling in love with her she ended up loving the farm and we all had a blast with her around i think she knows you're playing now <laughs> in the meantime I also had the opportunity to get braces. This was huge for me as it was something that I had been wanting to do for years. Though excited, I was quite nervous of what everyone would think. But thankfully, they all reacted so well and made me feel very encouraged by my decision to get them on. When you walk in the shop, stay away from all magnets. The rest of the month, I enjoyed spray rides, dirt bike rides, celebrating my birthday, and getting off the farm to enjoy some quality time with friends at their lake house where Cole and I got to enjoy several lake activities and I even got to enjoy a fun little golf cart excursion. Midway through the year, I planned a very fun girls trip where my friend and I traveled to Kansas City to take on worlds of fun, oceans of fun. Though we had a really good time, we came across a setback that engendered a second trip down to Kansas. It turns out the park is closed. We don't know how we got this mix 
mixed up when we were planning this trip, but it didn't stop us from having a blast the first time around. We had a lot of learning experiences together, but overall it was such a fun trip and very worthwhile. For the 4th of July, I decided to host my first family gathering on the farm. And Brownie even came back for some more fun. We shared lots of laughs, climbed the leg, played with the kids, picked from my garden. I found another strawberry! Can I have it? Nick ate and grilled lots of food, had a water balloon fight, and of course, we got a little crazy with the four-wheeler, but let's be honest, we were all in on it. And to end the night, we settled down and enjoyed a little fireworks show. We all had such a good time, and when it was time for everyone to head See out, later, the little ones were literally in tears because they didn't want to leave. Why are you girls crying? Later that month, I continued tending to our house, I power washed vehicles, and deep cleaned my car, and even expanded my cooking skills and was able to get the little ones in on it when they came back to the farm for a visit slash sleepover, where once again, we enjoyed their company and had a lot of fun. They even helped me grocery shop and were a great help around the house. Unfortunately, tornado season was still a thing late July. Thankfully though, we were fully aware before one hit our area and we were able to prepare for it by getting equipment and vehicles put away. We were even able to experience the weather change firsthand, which was honestly quite an experience and very beautiful to witness. After the tornado had passed, Cole, DC, and I went out to assess the damage, but thankfully it was minor and though we lost power at our house, we were able to pack up food and stay with Mama Cornstar and DC for the night. Oh, the weeds. The weeds in the garden come August were overpowering, but that wasn't for long as they soon faced the wrath of my weed eater. They were going down, but definitely not without a fight. I also finally had the chance to cook with the vegetables from my garden. It was very satisfying and delicious. Not to mention, I had the opportunity to pick, prep, and freeze my own sweet corn for the first time. I also got to help dig a few grades with my best friend in DC, which was a lot of fun because it was something I had done in the past, but hadn't had the chance to be around it as much this past year. So it was nice to get back out there and be a part of something so intimate and humbling. Celebrating Cole's 24th birthday was definitely one of the highlights of the year. He doesn't really get out much, so being able to get him out on a special day to enjoy a day full of surprises that I knew he would enjoy was something so heartwarming to see and be a part of. Plus, dinner and dancing to end the night was so special to us both. Gardening finally showed the fruits of its labor and the harvest was looking colorful. My little cousin even expressed an interest and helped me pick some veggies. Of course, I rewarded his efforts with some joyriding around the farm. Because we had a lot of vegetables ripe and ready to be used, I was encouraged to try out canning. Canning spaghetti sauce and salsa was something I had never done or even heard of. But thanks to the guidance of my friend Summer, I was able to experience what you're able to do with the hard work from your garden. And boy, is it good. Things started to slow down for us at the end of the year and we realized we hadn't really been on a date together in a long time. So we had a date night and decided to bring you all along, but not before we got a good workout in. Even though things slowed down for us, they sped back up just as quickly, and it was finally time for harvest season. This was something I really looked forward to, as I was officially the green cart driver for the season, and I was so ready to take it on. The season went by way too quick, as I was having a really good time operating the tractor and the green cart, transferring thousands of pounds of corn onto the semis, chasing the combine through the fields, unloading on the go, getting picked on, and working as a team with everyone. I couldn't be happier with my first harvest experience. Well, besides having to deal with the occasional spills and getting yelled at by the tractor because apparently there was nobody in the seat, clearly sitting in the seat right now, it was very worth experiencing it from the field and behind the wheel. And lastly, after harvest was over, we jumped right into the holiday season where we intentionally made it an effort to bring back the Christmas spirit. By the end of the year, we were able to look back and reflect on all the memories we had made, the, the adventures we had the honor to experience, and the opportunities we had to learn and, and to grow. And it made us smile as we moved into the new year, excited to see what challenges, opportunities, and adventures 2022 has in store for us. So thank you guys so much for watching and for being a part of 2021. I truly, from the bottom of my heart, appreciate every single one of you and, and everything that you guys do to support the channel. Because if it wasn't for you all, all of this wouldn't be possible. Oh, and guess what? Before I forget, you're invited to join me on this new journey. So come on, get ready, and vamanos! <laughs> <laughs>